This is Dr. Desmond Wright, gastroenterologist and hepatologist. I have been asked this question quite often and one quite recently about whether there's any natural therapy to get rid of the gallstones. So what happened is I had uh, a few patients, some of them actually went through it and of course it didn't work, okay? So they took, uh, uh, they went on the internet and they checked on how to get rid of gallstones. And of course some advertisement pop up and there's some, a lot of people actually uh, uh, advise some natural way, natural way to get rid of gallstone, okay? So what they need to do is that they need to go through a program. Of course, you pay a fee for that. Uh, it's an advertisement. It is, uh, of course, you have to pay for it, okay? So you go for this program. They need to take a special type of medicine. They include Epsom salt, uh, uh, apple cider vinegar, and the last day, they take uh, a lot of olive oil. And they claim that they can pass out the, all the gallstones. So they ask me, uh, how come no Western doctor have advised them to do that and uh, only these uh, uh, they call it, <laughs> uh, 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 unqualified medical people could say that. So first I explained to patients that um, actually uh, as a doctor, if I offer you a treatment or I tell you a diagnosis, you will say anything wrong. Wrong means it's not based on science, it's not based on expert opinion, it's not that most people will be doing, most doctors will be doing. If I tell you anything that, or that, are, that are wrong, that are not accepted by the medical community, you can complain to the Singapore Medical Council against me and you will win and I will lose. Because we doctors follow science, we do what we call evidence-based medicine. Whatever we tell patient, we offer treatment, the treatment has to be proven based on science. Or sometimes no good science, then we based on expert opinion. Or based on what normally people do. I mean, you have a fever, most people will give a Panadol. That is not wrong. We don't need scientific data to support that, but we do that, okay? Yeah. So going back to this case, so uh, I told the patient, the principle for this is actually that when it, the, the maple of getting the gallstone is the last bit, when they have to drink a lot of olive oil. So I have a few patients that I one particular one many, many years ago, I remembered he had to drink 250 ml of olive oil, a lot of oil, okay? I mean, we I dipped my bread in the olive oil. I never drank so much olive oil in my life. He had to drink 250 ml of olive oil in one shot in the last day. But he got into severe pain and had to come to the hospital under my care. I did a scan and I told him that look, you have a stone blocking the bowel duct. So then he told then after hearing all this, what happened is that you know our gallbladder got a lot of stones. Okay, for him he got a lot of stones. It occurred in one in ten people in the public. So when we eat oily food, the gallbladder contracts, squeeze the juice out. If you have a stone, the stone come out after eating oily food. So the principle for this kind of therapy is that you take a lot of olive oil, you make the gallbladder contract. When you squeeze out all the juice, you squeeze the stone at the same time. So that's why the therapist told him that he can have his gallstone pass out. But the therapist has not told him that when the stone, when the bowel juice come out, that's fine. When the stone comes through the bowel duct, if they are lucky, the stone pass through, they are fine. If they are unlucky, the stone block a little bit of the bowel duct, and come out, there's severe pain. If the stone come out, block the bowel duct and don't come out, they're in severe pain, infection jaundice, and they need to have a procedure called ERCP that I do on a regular basis to drag the stone out. So that particular patient actually had a stone jammed in the bowel duct after drinking, the day after drinking the 250 ml of olive oil. And the stone jammed in the bowel duct, he come in, I do a procedure, I drag the stone up by something called YCP. It's there's risk involved, it's not a cheap procedure. And after that, he had a surgery to take out the gallbladder. So therefore, I asked my other patient asked me that. I asked them when the bowel juice come out, the stone come out, if you're unlucky, the stone block it or cause pain or got jam, then you're in trouble. Why you want to take a risk like that? Why you believe people that have no medical uh, background, no medical training? no uh, 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 accountability to take care of you. Why are you happy to pay good money to these people? And these patients are not, uh, they are not uneducated. They're educated, okay? So to sum up, if, and uh, sorry, and furthermore, how do you know the stone actually passed out? They say they saw some greenish sediment at the, at the anus the next day. How do you know that those are not the chemical reaction between the apple cider, apple cider vinegar the Epsom salt and other stuff that other stuff that uh, that, that mixed together. So therefore, uh, I told them, how do you know the stone that pass out? 
The only way that you can be sure that the stone pass out is you have a scan, ultrasound scan before the scan, before the stones. You have a scan done after the after the treatment, and you see the stone disappeared. So then you're sure that the stone pass out are the gallstone. If you don't have all these, how do you know it work? And I will stick to the one final conclusion first. Please, if you want, if you choose to believe in people with no accountability, with no. Uh, with no uh, 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 medical background is your choice, okay? But do note that taking a therapy for gallstone in particular, taking the, um, the, the the olive oil 250 ml to get the stone out, it can be potentially dangerous. I would warn people not to do that, okay? And if you happen to have a gallstone jam, do go back to ask the same person for the refund. Please don't do that. Consult your doctor. This is Dr. Desmond White. Thank you.